there's some there's a video out of australia i don't know how much you guys follow this it's because of per, we have a reporters at our company who are in australia and they're really obviously in the darkness right now so they had a guy who broke his quarantine rules and they treated him like an international fugitive uh, enemy of the state essentially great movie by the way if you guys haven't seen enemy of the state with will smith one of my favorites um and they've been calling him a COVID fugitive. They've had uh, primetime news stories about it. And they finally caught him. And they sent a SWAT team after him. And they paraded him out in, like, you know, like chemical <laughs> protective gear. I want to say CBRN, but I don't know if anybody would get that. So here's the video um, I found of them parading him out. It's only 20 seconds long, but uh, just check this out. So they sent a SWAT team in. With the shield, of course, masks up, mask on, and there he is. They're parading him out, oh, like this. They are kidding. They are not kidding. <laughs> they are kidding me. This looks like Monsters <laughs> Inc. What are they doing? We'll let it play one more time. <laughs> they don't look happy to be there. Those cops, to be honest, but like this is crazy. Anthony Karam. He said he had been quarantining the whole time. But, but he wasn't at home where he was supposed to be. So in Australia, they will send police to come find you. They have uh, police responding to um, anyone who snitches on somebody else for having more than like their family at their home. Of course, it's even worse in Australia where you're not allowed to leave your home at all. But they voted in a socialist person. So I guess get what, get what you pay for there. Uh, Gary, do you think I don't know where where do you live, Gary? I don't know what state I'm in Arizona. Oh, okay, oh, nice. so you you're yeah. enjoying some of the freedom. How, I, I don't know how bad it can get for you guys when with all your freedom, but here <laughs> it seems like they know that it's not gonna go. We can't go that far, so <laughs> we're just um, ushering out all our vaccine passports right now. And also, you're not allowed to go on a plane or a train starting in, I think, October first if you're not vaccinated. If so. There's varying degrees. We're at like a 7 out of 10. Australia is like a 10 out of 10. How do you guys feel about this? Gary, you go first. Well, we have guns, right? So <laughs> yeah. that's just the fact of the matter. So Australia, a lot of people are saying, well, why are, why are these people taking this? How can Australians possibly, how, how can you allow this to happen? Well, they gave up all their weapons. So realistically, what are they supposed to do at this point? Now you're just a prisoner. You are a fugitive. They, if, you're a fu if they want to call you a fugitive, you are a fugitive. That's the way it works. And your freedom is its really how much power you have. If you don't have any power over your government and they now have the all the buttons to push and they can force you to do whatever you want because you can't defend yourself, well, you got what you paid for. If you want to, if you want to give up your guns with failed logic and you want to, and you want to all line up for vaccination, if you want to go do those things, that's your choice. But now you deal with the consequences and everybody else seemed like conspiracy theorists by saying that what happened to Australia, that could have happened to us. Never said that's crazy. Now you're watching it unfold. And now nobody, nobody on one side of the, of the spectrum politically is talking about Australia. Like it's an issue. It is a problem. And frankly, it can happen to different States like New York and California. It can happen in California, but it probably can't happen in Arizona because of the rights that we've defended. 